My name is Enrique, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the tour box. If you clicked on this video, you probably already know what it is, but I'm going to talk about that briefly here in this video. I want to talk about how I use it with Lightroom Classic and Final Cut Pro. And I also want to share with you the presets that I have created as I've been using this device throughout the weeks. Let's get into it. I create content for other local businesses here in South Florida. What can I do to make my workflow faster? And I found that there was a lot of videos talking about the tour box. If you don't know what it is, it's basically programmable buttons that will link to an action in your Final Cut Pro or in Photoshop. Let's start with Lightroom Classic. So this is my sweet spot. I like to be hand on mouse and hand on the tour box and touch the keyboard as little as possible. In order to go through my library, all I have to do is move this button. See, and it clicks and you can feel the haptic feedback and you can change this. You can increase the sensitivity or you can dec decrease it all the way and not have any haptic feedback at all. I find that it's very satisfying, definitely quality of life improvement. You make one little click, you go to the next one. The first thing I do in my workflow, I'll go through each one and I'll pick the ones that I like, right? The picking I do with the pinky over here. So as I go, I just pick the ones I like. So let's do this. Uh, let's say I like this one, pinky, pinky. Now let's get to basic editing. Basic editing is so easy. You don't have to use the mouse at all. If I press up, this happens. This dialog box comes up and then I can scroll through with this finger down through the values and adjust them here. Okay, so let's say I want the temperature up a little bit. I want to go down and decrease the exposure a little bit. I want to increase the shadows. I want to decrease the blacks, you see? So, and it's much better than doing it with the mouse because you have more control, right? Increasing the whites a little bit. You can see the photo is taking shape. And I've already edited this one. I'll show you what it looked like. But if you wanna see the before and after, then I just press this button. See, so I don't have to move my hand at all. It stays right here for picking, for basic color um, or exposure editing, just the basic editing, and then before and afters right here. Now let's get into something a little bit more complicated, masks, which I use all the time. Let's say that you want a linear mask, then I will use the top button here and double click it. There you go, that's it. Double click, do that. And then if you want to apply some editing to this, I don't know why I have the wheel of death here, there you go. I'll press on the top directional button and there you go. And then if I want, let's say a radial gradient. Now, let me see if I remember, I think it's this one and uh, this one. No, that's crop. I'll get to crop in a moment. It's this one and the big one here on the side. Then I can do a radial gradient. That is so convenient, right? And then I press up and maybe this area is too dark. I increase the exposure here, you know, something like that. Go back with up. And then if I want to go back to my gallery, I just press this button right here next to the wheel and it goes to the library. What else? Let's do cropping, right? For example, I will hold the top button and then the one on the end here, that's cropping. Let's say I want to copy and paste. Copy, all I have to do is press this wheel, hmm? copy settings. So let's say I wanna copy all of them, copy, go to the next one and then press this wheel. Literally one click of the finger. One click, you copy and then one click and you paste all the attributes. All right, let's move on to Final Cut Pro. When you jump over to Final Cut Pro, you have to do a complete mental shift and change your, your change your mindset here because it's different buttons and everything. And I found that it's very useful for me in Lightroom Classic because there's like less buttons. For some reason, there's less use of buttons or less features. In Final Cut Pro, I find there's so many different things and so many stages to the project that it's difficult to map out every single button for every function that you want. So I'm still playing around with it but I want to share with you the most important ones that I use all the time. So number one is this little scroll wheel right here. Okay, that's to zoom in and out of your timeline. That is very helpful. Instead of just command, command minus, command plus, I can just do this. 
very helpful. A lot of YouTubers that talk about the toolbox, they say you can just like scroll with the scroll wheel. And you know what? I have not been able to do this. As you can see, just scrolling through the timeline, I use my mouse wheel and I find that's much easier. And then in combination with the toolbox, I can just like zoom out and move it. And then place my mouse wherever I want to zoom in and zoom in there. And that, that's really quick, much quicker than doing it on the keyboard. All right, for basic editing in Final Cut Pro, first thing you wanna do is cut your clips, probably, right? So I mapped out this button and this button, directional buttons left and right to do that, right? So all I have to do is, let's say we zoom in a little bit and I wanna cut there, left, there it is. Mm, I wanna cut there, right. I'm just going to undo that by tapping these two buttons, undo, undo see that's the other that's the other way to do it another one of the mappings that i've done you know sometimes you're scrolling like one frame at a time and it gets kind of tiring with your mouse and so all you have to do is do it here on the wheel one little click is one frame so that's helpful when you're really zoomed into your timeline if you're really zoomed out, just to navigate the timeline i suggest just use the mouse Let's say that you want to play your video for some reason while you're editing it, right? Um, you press this button right here. And let's say you want to fast forward, you press it again. And then if you want to stop it, you press this one. See? So I've mapped that out. It's pretty, pretty intuitive, right? You press this one to go forward, press it again to go fast. Here you stop it. So pretty simple. Uh, blade, very important. If you want to cut your clip at some point, right, you just have to press down on the directional button. Down and you cut. And you don't even have to use your mouse. You can, you know, zoom out a little bit. Go to the place you want to cut. Cut here. Boom. Keep going. Zoom out. Okay. Zoom in there. You get the point. Or another function that I've mapped out is delete. When you want to delete a clip, all you have to do is click on it and double tap the pinky button here, and it's gone. Last few words about this tour box. Other YouTubers are saying that the quality is very good. It is true, okay? It's not gonna move around on your desk because it has uh, rubber pads here at the bottom, and they stick pretty good. So even if you press the pinky button, you know, it's not gonna move around anywhere. You can just press, the buttons are light to press. You know, it's very intuitive. The battery's been lasting a long time. Ever since I got this, it came with two AA batteries and I haven't changed them ever. So that's great. By the way, I am not sponsored by Tourbox. I don't even have affiliate links for them. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you're curious and want to go on their website. And remember, their website is actually cheaper. I found this cheaper. I found this for 200 bucks on their website compared to Amazon. And it took a little bit longer to get home, but hey, that's, uh, it's better. It was significant enough to buy on their website. So I recommend you do that. Go and check it out. If you have any questions about the tour box, maybe that I didn't cover, that I missed, just uh, put it in the comments. Let me know if you have any suggestions for my next video. See you next time. Thank you.